Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my next retro review. And I do want to apologize for not having posted anything in a while. Um, it's been pretty hectic. I haven't had much time to uh, get the reviews out as much as I would like. So I do apologize about that. But I'm going to try and get as much out as I possibly can over the course of uh, from now on. <laughs> but today for my retro review, we're looking at Beast Wars Transmetal Tarantulas. And this is the original figure. I've had this since I bought it in, what, 97, 98, somewhere around then. And I love the Transmetals. Just some of my favorite figures um, love the way they look um, their transformations their little third third mode <laughs> but still very cool and here today we're looking at tra tarantulas so we'll take a good look at him Let's see all oh, nice green for his uh, spider eyes um, his pincers which look Pretty long, but of course, they are his legs. Got the uh, vacuum chrome, vacuumized chrome. Um, nice paint here, this um, sort of burgundy, purplish paint. It's to kind of match with the color of the legs, which are molded in this color. It kind of works. Um, you can see on this side, it says tarantulas. Got some green going along here, along with all this blue. Um, but yeah, looks good. Looks very good. As I said, love this figure. Um, definitely one of my favorites of uh, the Transmetals. Um, him and Megatron, I think, are my two favorite Transmetals, but I love them all. Um, so really looking forward to uh, seeing if um, Transart does uh, Tarantulas in uh, Masterpiece style. So definitely hoping for that. But articulation in this mode. The spider legs are on a ball joint and gets movement. A lot more movement here. A little bit of movement here, especially up and down. Slightly less there, and same thing with back here. Um, and then these pieces move. His little pincers. So that's about it on that. Now his third mode, though, what we do here is we want to pull this, and we're going to. slide it or move it slightly over so we can rotate it here and that's going to give us the rear wheel and then this we push rotate it and you just move these legs however you wish and there essentially is trench Tarantulas's third mode, sort of like a motorcycle um, type mode, and it's pretty. It works pretty well. So this moves, and this moves very nicely. You can just kind of cruise along. I know it's kind of hard to see. It definitely goes backwards, but it's kind of hard to see it going forward. Yeah. So there you go works very well i i love it it's very cool um it was interesting seeing him take advantage of it he figured his uh his mode out very quickly um we didn't see him have to play around with it like uh we did cheat or and rat trap you know but yeah so now we will get into his robot mode and for that what we're gonna do is we wanna Kind of separate the legs we can bring this out we're gonna set that off to the side this is his weapon now with this we want to 
bring these out and there's little tiny tabs it's sort of soft thoop so we'll bring them out like this for now and i i position the legs a very particular way it makes it look like they did in the show so now with that we're gonna rotate these out and they peg in or it's like a tab here that goes right in one of these i think it's yeah it's this one right here to kind of help hold it in so when we're in motorcycle mode just like that and then we just bring it all out just like that now this we want to separate we want to bring it straighten it out these are going to be uh, sort of his shoulders now we can rotate this all around like that and we'll rotate at the knees for the legs bring the feet down just like that now we can bring this down kind of get your finger or a thumb in there to push the head up and this is going to just sort of snap in like that now the next little bit here, these go up like this and they sort of sit in there. They don't really plug in, but we do want to angle it because there's a little tab here that is actually going to plug in on the side here to make everything nice and tight. So we want to bring this out till we get it right where we want it. Or until we can get it where we need it. Rotate the arm down and then it's sort of just angling everything. And I'm pushing his head down. We can tape that up if we need to. But just get that. It's sometimes a bit difficult to get right exactly where we need it. There we go. And there we go. And that's going to keep these right where they need to be. So same thing with this side. Sort of bring all this out here. I want to rotate all this come on just like that and that's gonna go just like that all right now we'll bring this back down yeah and that's it took me I didn't realize it right away about that. But one of the times I was transforming him, I figured that out. It really helps to hold these in the position that they're supposed to be. Oh, I feel like something is missing here. Do I have them dangled the right way? Oh, that should be right. Yeah, that should be. Come on. I think I got that right. Okay, now we keep this piece sort of angled like that. And then the legs, what I like to do is just aim them, angle them like this. And it's sort of like how they looked in the show, which I think works very well.
Yeah, just got to get them angled all just right. And there we go. And there we have Tarantulas in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good. I like him. It's... Like I said, I love the Transmetals. Always some of my favorites of the Beast Wars line. Um, just all looked so cool. I'm not sure why this is not as tight as the other side, though. I feel like something's missing here. No, that's as far as it needs to be. Oh, this, this might be a little loose it's possible old toy some things are gonna get a bit loose a bit loose there we go oh uh, no not exactly there we go see i feel like i have that off though no i think i do okay let's fix that i just have this feeling that i'm slightly off so what we want to do here, although it shouldn't be off, it might be, because you can get these to go like either way, so we're going to rotate it. Mm. Well, no that only goes one way yeah that only goes this way that doesn't go the other way so they should be right I don't know what I'm missing here I feel like something is off <laughs> But, again, it is an old toy. So, yeah, that went in nicely. And you... Okay. All right. So, here we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. So let's get in. Good look at his head. Pretty good head. Um, looks very uh, much like the cartoon besides a few differences here or there. But still, very nice. Like it. Like it a lot. I uh, love the green, some gold, uh, yellow on the eyes, that purple in there, and then that sort of... Uh, tarantula hair fur whatever you want to call it <laughs> great blue uh, the purple with the little bit of black looks really good arms look nice everything just yeah it just all matches up very nicely um, yeah like I said when I put the tarantula legs like that it, it it's it's how they did it in the show so I definitely wanted mine to look, you know, very similar to that. Just like with the way they angled like that. Uh, articulation, the head's on a ball joint, so we get movement back and forth. You can look up that far, down not so far. Arms only come out about that far. Can do a full 360, but everything gets in the way. Has an elbow. That's it. Nothing for a waist. Kick forward that far on the legs. Not so far backwards. Uh, full Van Dam. So we got that. Little bit of a thigh due to it being a ball joint. Knee is on a ball joint, so we get all kinds of movement with that. And the feet just move up and down. Then, of course, you can give him his weapon. And what we do here we have this peg right here and that's just gonna peg in right there and there he is holding his weapon so yeah very nice um definitely 
definitely like it. You know, it it was a really cool upgrade for to tarantula tarantulas. Um, so very cool. Uh, just love the transmetals. Love the the look that they did with them. I think they all look great. Um, and again, I I know there's one third party company that's supposedly doing a transmetal tarantulas. It's, parts of it look off. Really hoping that Transart eventually does one. And I have his shoulder off again here. <laughs> there we go. But um, yeah, cause Tarantula or uh, Transart's stuff has been like just amazing. Looks really good. I know there's a few QC issues here and there with some of them, but they look amazing. Like nice and hefty, some decent weight to them. But yeah. So that is Transmetal Tarantulas. That is going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I want to say thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.